hello everyone so now let's let's do some more lab so i hope you remember in our previous class we learn how we can configure the router some basic stuff we learn if you see what we done just we change the host name we done the basic thing we are saying we will use the console cable and we can access the what we can say cli of the router so this one we done in our previous class so today what we are going to learn we are going to learn how we can check the interface status and how we can assign the ip address to the interface okay as uh, we discuss we are going to do in this playlist first basic thing then we are going to do the advanced thing so let me do here what we are going to learn first thing we are going to learn how we can assign the ip address to the interface how we can check the interface status so let me do that one okay so first of all what i will do i will go here in the okay privilege mode then i will go in the global configuration mode after that i will uh, assign the ip so i need to go to the interface if you don't know what interface is present in this router then you need to write show ip interface brief this command you need to write but now we are in the global configuration mode so we cannot execute this command we are going to get the error if you want let me show you if you see when i put this command show ip interface brief in the global configuration mode we are getting this error so this command is a show command show command we will run in the privilege mode in case if you want to run this show command in the global configuration mode then you need to write do after that write that command whatever show command you want to write so i wrote here do show ip interface brief with this one we can see we have the we can see these are the two interface available in this router and one interface is having the ip 192.168.1.1 and we write no shared that's why this interface is up but protocol is down because this interface is not connected to any of the pc okay so now what we are going to do we are going to assign the ip address to this interface that is fast ethernet 0 by 1 so how we can assign first we will write here interface fast ethernet 0 okay fast ethernet 0/1 or what is that interface 0/1 so we will write that one what i wrote interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 after that i am going to assign the ip so i will write here ip address whatever ip you plan let me write here what ip we are planning one ip we will assign like 192.168.1.1/24 which interface we are going to assign this ip fast ethernet 0 by 0 okay i will write like this let me put here okay and we have another interface fast ethernet 0/1 here we are going to assign 192.168.2.1/24 okay these are the ip we are going to use for this router imagine your manager asks you to assign this ip to this particular interface okay see here fast ethernet 0 by 0 your manager asks you to assign the ip 192.168.1.1 for fast ethernet 0 by 1 0 by 0 should be 192.168.1.1 and the other interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 your manager asks you to assign 192.168.2.1 okay so here what we done till now if you see we are accessing the router with the console cable and if you see here we have the fast ethernet 0 by 0 this ip already assigned so this task is already completed now we need to look for this one so we will do now this configuration okay so what i will do here i will if you see here already i am under this interface i already write interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 so i go under that interface now i need to put the ip so how we will assign the ip in our previous class we already learned this one we need to write ip address then write the ip whatever you want to assign 
so we want to assign this one and give the space and write subnet mass whatever subnet mass you want to write okay example i need to assign this subnet mass and then write press enter write no shut that's all okay this way we can assign the ip address after that if you want write exit or if you want to verify whatever ip we assign uh, it is correct or not just if in case if you want to check you can write show ip interface brief but this command will not work because we are in the global configuration mode if you are in the global configuration mode you need to write do show ip interface brief then you can see if you see this is a fast ethernet 0 by 0 is having 192.168.1.1 and the fast ethernet 0 by 1 is having 192.168.2.1 okay these two ip already we assigned if you want to save the configuration write do wr if you want to check the same configuration in the privilege mode just write show ip interface brief no need to go under the do no need to write do because we are not inside the global configuration mode if you are inside the global configuration mode then only we will write what we will write we write do show IP interface brief but now I am not inside the global configuration mode I am in the privilege mode so directly I will write show IP interface brief that's all so we learn how we can assign the IP address after that what we will do uh, we already know how to save if you want to save here you will write WR so this way we assign the IP address now let's do some more stuff here what we will do this is the router which we are working let me move this here let me take this router here imagine you want to take switch you can click here and click here and click here click here click here okay one minute okay so what we will say we will take two switch what i am doing we are doing here a small lab so this one let me take this laptop also here okay so this is a laptop i am taking later we are going to take the console of the router and we will do that directly but now let's use this laptop as in the real scenario we are using the console cable starting first time we will assign the ip we will do the basic configuration like we will enable the telnet or ssh after that we will take via telnet or ssh the router no need to carry the laptop and the console cable directly you can take from your working workspace and do the remaining configuration okay so what i am doing i taken two switches let me take the automatic cable we are going to connect this cable from switch to router from router to switch and here i will take the switch one and here i will take the switch two okay after that we will take the pc i will take pc here two pc here is also i am taking two pc let me connect this pc here with the switch okay and same thing i will do here so this is a small network we can say let me move this pc to the different place okay sorry i think i selected wrong let me move this one okay let's let me move this here okay so now this is our small network we can say i have two computer here and here okay and i have two switches i have the router so this is our basic thing already we assigned the ip address to the router and here we are going to learn how we can assign the ip address to the machine to the computer and then we are going to ping before pinging what i will do i will remove the router and i will ping by connecting directly with the same subnet it will work then we are going to test with the different subnet it will not work after that we are going to use the router so it is a mix of everything in case if you are facing any issue just write in the youtube video comments we are going to go slowly and we are going to teach you like basic stuff like we can go from the basic level because if you are going for the interview they will start from the basic they will not directly ask you what is BGP first they will go from the basic they are going to ask you question from the basic then they will go for the advanced topic so you need to first prepare the basic like why we are using router what are the function what router is going to do why we need router why we will not use switch so you need to understand all this topic but anyhow 
this is a topology in our next class we are going to learn how to configure what configure configuration we are going to do already we configure we assign the ip address to the router so in the router no need to do anything just we can assign the ip address to this computer and we can ping we can bypass the router we can connect the cable directly and we can check with the same network it will work when we change the different network it will stop working then we will use the router to make the communication between different network and also what we are going to do here here we are going to learn how we can differentiate same network different network we are going to learn that also in our next class hope you enjoy this video in case if you struck anywhere whatsapp us sometime we are busy we are unable to reply immediately later whenever we are free we are going to reply to you okay thank you bye